Hey yo, Cole Chance with Yoga GX. Um, so happy to uh, be back in the studio with you all. Um, I've been traveling for about six months, so since I've been gone, I've been thinking about uh, little flows and different things that I want to share with you. So really happy to have some output and be able to be giving you some new stuff. And I wanted to just do a short little morning flow here. Um, something to kind of get you up and going in the mornings because I think personally it's my, the best time for me to practice. It really sets up my day like I'm already winning. If I wake up and I do yoga right away, no matter what happens, like I feel like I've already won. And um, it seems like my days go quite a bit smoother if I start with uh, getting into my body. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and start on our back. So go ahead and lay down on your back. Kind of get set up here and just feel your body being supported here. Notice where the body hits the mat, the parts of the body that are not on the mat. One of the parts should be the low back. There's a natural curve in the low back, so it should be coming up off the mat. We're gonna pull the right knee into the chest. Now, for some of us, and for me right now, that's causing my low back to come down onto the ground. That's kind of a way that we unconsciously avoid the stretch. So what we want to do is pull the right hip down. I'm using my thumb. Just even pull the right hip down a little bit. The low back will come up and then pull in. It's a different stretch, a more intentional stretch. Good. Take the left, or take the left hand, bring the right knee over the body for a twist, gaze over to the right. Coming back center. Extend right leg long. So again, kind of wiggle the hips here, feel the low back. I mean, up off the ground, and then this time as you pull the left knee in, leave that low back coming up, grab the knee, pull in. More intention, keeping intention in the stretch. Breathing here. Taking the right hand to pull the left knee over. Gentle twist. Let the left palm open up, getting a stretch also in the pectoral muscles. Coming back to center. Extending the left leg long. I'm going to wiggle out the hips here. Bring the knees into the chest. We'll just rock up and down. And come across the ankles. And let's just walk the hands forward. Taking forward fold here. Take the hands over to the right. Walk as far as you can over to the right. Walk the hands out. Take the left hand and start to open up the chest. Open towards the sky, big side body stretch. Left hand comes up and let it pull you all the way up. Right arm comes over. Reach, 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 reach. Plant it down to the ground. Now we're reaching as far as we can towards the left side. Walk the hands back to center. And we'll just do that on the other side. So we'll come back over to the left. Reaching out as far as you can. I can really feel from my hand all the way down to my hip, that big side body stretch. Start to pick up the right hand, spin the chest open. Coming up, 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 up. We'll switch sides. Fingertipping the hands out, reaching, reaching, reaching. 
And then closing the heart off down towards the ground. Start to walk the hands in front. Good, walk yourself up. Plant the hands, come into tabletop. Cat cow, tuck your toes or untuck your toes, whichever feels better. Roll the shoulder blades on the back. Send the hips, tailbone up, belly down, gaze up. Exhale, push the ground away. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Once more, inhale. This time, exhale, lift the knees, send the hips up and back. Good. Come up onto the toes. I'm gonna to tuck my chin. I'm gonna roll forward. So I'm pushing the ground away, rolling the body forward into plank pose. Now bend your knees, push the ground away, push the hips back. So we're rolling forward and then we're rolling back. So come onto the toes, tuck the chin, roll forward, round the back. Exhale, bend the knees, push the hips back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, wave forward. Exhale, bend the knees, wave back. Gaze towards the hands, walk up. Halfway lift and fold forward. Inhale, arms wide, lift all the way up. Press the ground away with the feet. Hands together, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, come all the way down. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, step back, right foot. Come forward with the chest. If you have blocks, this is a wonderful place for blocks. So I'm going to bend the back knee, straighten the front foot. Flex the front foot. So it's kind of like a back lunge. Inhale, I'm gonna come forward, bend the front knee, straighten the back leg. That's just the opposite of the normal lunge that we're used to. So inhaling here, exhaling, sending the hips back, straightening the front leg, bow forward. Inhale, come forward. This is so good. It gets into the hips, the hamstrings, the hip flexors. Exhale. Inhale. Let's twist open to the left. So like a, you're pulling back on a bow. Open up. Press into an invisible wall with the left hand. Open an invisible jar with the right hand. Open towards the right. Good. Kick back through the heel. Plant the hand, left hand down. Take a big step up, right foot meets the left. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise all the way up. And hands to heart center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, step back, left foot. Inhale, runner's lunge, chest forward. Exhale, straighten the front leg, bend the back knee, bow forward. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, back lunge, bend the back knee, straighten the front leg, flex the front foot. Inhale, I love this one. Exhale, mmm. Inhale, come forward, plant the left hand. Open up towards the right side. Press into the invisible wall to spin the chest. Open the bottom shoulder, press through the back heel. One more inhale. Exhale, plant the hand. And this time, step back. Downward facing dog. Downward facing dog is such a full body stretch, so good. Really push the ground away. Internally rotate from the elbows down, externally rotate. 
from the elbows up. Pull the belly in, send the tailbone high. Shift forward, plank pose. Bring the knees down. Bring the chest, the belly down. Untuck the toes. Bring fingertips onto the ground. We're gonna lift the chest up. Drop the right shoulder, gaze towards the left. Get some opening in the shoulders. Inhale, come up. And exhale. Again, inhale, center. Once more. Good. Come to center. Let's bring the hands out in front of us. We're just gonna find a little length here. So lift the left leg, lift the right arm. Reach, 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 reach. Release. Lift the right leg, lift the left arm, and reach, 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 reach. Release. Inhale, both legs come up, both arms come up. As if you're being pulled in both directions, Reach, be long, extend, and then relax down. Hands underneath the shoulders, press back. Let's take a wide leg, child's pose. Leave the arms out in front, belly in between the thighs, hips to the heels. Come back to center, come back to your breath. Start to walk the hands up. And just come into a seated pose. Mm. It really doesn't have to take much. We like to, and we as in me as well, like to come up with excuses of how I don't have time or I don't feel like it or whatever it is I have. I'm really good at rationalizing. And, um, I don't know why that it's so hard for me to talk myself into doing something that I know makes me feel so good. And I'm getting better at it all the time of actually doing it. But just this just proves that, you know, 10, 15 minutes even can really have a drastic shift. So if you're like me and you're a procrastinator and you have a hard time uh, getting yourself to do things that are good for you, um, start small, start with some videos like this. Try this video for a week and uh, please let me know um, what you think, how you feel, all of the things. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really curious. Um, and I want you to feel good. So from all of us here at Yoga TX, thank you so much. And uh, check out our websites, yogatx.org, all kinds of good stuff on there. And coldchanceyoga.com, have some retreats coming up you can check out. And yeah, all the things. Thank you so much. Namaste.